It's super flexible. Take a nice breath in. Nice. Ooh, crunchy. It's crazy crunchy, actually. That was, yeah, that was a lot. Okay. Was... Hey, everybody, this is uh, Dr. Alec here with Dr. Nick. And um, once again, we have a legitimate in house problem. So, Dr. Nick, what's going on? I've been getting some uh, rib irritation more prominent over the weekend. So, uh, I noticed a lot side lying on this right side. If um, I'm laying on that side, at least propped up through the shoulder and neck, kind of like on the couch, you know, something like that. Okay. And uh, I take some breaths in, I can kind of feel a little little twinge of some pain wrap around. I can definitely feel a pinpoint spot on the back there too whenever it really acts up. So. Okay, right on. So, I mean, diagnosis of a rib irritation is, uh, typically doesn't require imaging. It's really straightforward. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna palpate him, but a, a lot of the evidence for what's going on with the rib lies in the history that he gives me. Pain with deep inhalation, um, like, tenderness in a very specific spot, this wrapping around the like the intercostal nerve distributions, that, that's really typical signs of an irritative rib. So I'm gonna get him face down and I'm gonna poke around just a little bit. So lean on in for me. Yeah. So a lot of people are surprised when we talk about like uh, an irritated rib or like, uh, oh yeah, like that, that pain in your mid back is a rib. People, I think, automatically think well, like a rib has to be dislocated or a rib has to be fractured. Um, and a lot of people are also under this misconception that ribs are fixed, like completely fixed to your spine. And that couldn't be farther from the truth. Um, there, there's actually, I'm not gonna say a freely movable, but there, there is an articular joint between your rib and your, in your spinal column, which is a, a, you know, a, a requisite for the ability for your ribs to uh, expand with your breath. Um, in part of part of your rib head ligamentously ends up articulating with your disc in your thoracic spine, which is why if you have um, you know some sort of like trauma to your rib that you can get an irritation in the nerve that's going to cause the shooting pain to wrap around to the front. Um, enough talking, let me poke around. <laughs> so you're saying on your right side, correct? Up this high? Uh, I'd say a little bit lower. Right, yep, kind of right through that point there, yeah. So a way that I kind of know that I'm dealing with a rib is I come, I come off about a body's inch from the spinous process. I know that that's most likely a facet joint. If I come about another's body inch. Yeah, oh, there it is, that's pretty, it. Pretty perfectly, you can land on the costovertebral joint. Um, so that's, that's kind of right where we are with him. And Nick, you would say it's not much lower, like down here. That, there's nothing there. So, I mean, that is bang. Yeah. That is a pinpointed spot. Um, and so the way that I'm gonna treat this today, it's gonna be with a combination of manual therapy, so manipulation, spinal manipulation. Um, it's going to be with, I would, I would say needling, honestly, yeah. because the close ally of an irritated rib head is spasm in the musculature around it. Um, and then I put some class for laser on just to try to decrease the swelling in that costovertebral capsule. Um, but the way I adjust him is gonna be hands over head out here on the table. Uh, you don't wanna press an irritated rib too much into extension. It's, it's typically more comfortable if you can adjust them into flexion. So I'll show you how I do that real quick. So let me get you to take a seat, Dr. Nick. Interlace those fingers on top of your head. I'm gonna fold your elbows in. I'm just gonna rock them backwards, nice. Super flexible. Take a nice breath in. Nice. Ooh, crunchy. It's crazy crunchy, actually. That was, yeah, that was a lot. Okay. That was a lot. So the rib and then some moved on that, but that, that didn't beat you up too much from a, no, a pain standpoint. No, super okay. comfortable. In that Amazing. Position. So now that he's adjusted, um, we're going to cut and we'll show you what we do from a modality standpoint with the needles and the laser. Thank you so much. All right, guys. So we just finished up with dry needling. Next, we have Christian here. He's gonna finish out with the laser kind of over that rib head, and then um, we'll check in with Dr. Alex, see if there's anything else he would recommend, and we'll go from there. All right. Does it bother you over here at all? Um, not quite. Really out just that in here? Far, yeah, so. Got it you drag it even just a little bit more right through there, you can kind of feel 
Yeah, I do. Through the pressure, you can feel that kind of knot. Yeah. Definitely. You cool with a little pressure? Yeah, absolutely. Okay. So the cool thing with ribs is that they typically resolve pretty quickly. You know, within the a, the first couple handful of visits. The bad thing about ribs is that you're always breathing, so you feel it a lot. <laughs> <laughs> so it can definitely drive you crazy, but with the appropriate treatment, they go away pretty quick. Those deep inhales been bothering you? It's not, yeah, not even really with that. You know, I'll, I'll catch it with um, every so often with just normal inhaling too. But it's kind of been off and on through that region for a while. So gotcha. can only imagine how annoyed that area is with me. Absolutely. It's actually one of my favorite modalities we have here. I've treated almost a lot of things on my body with this. <laughs> <laughs> Laser's powerful stuff. Especially in the... Uh, I guess of both acute and chronic patients we see, mm -hmm. it's um, it, it really kind of helps get them over that threshold and heading in the right direction. Hundred percent. A little less invasive than needling, but needles is potent in its own way. Boom. Thank you so much, Christian. Of course. All right, everybody. So um. You watched me adjust, Dr. Nick, and he just got done doing therapy, so I just kind of wanted to check in with him and uh, make sure that things are good before he walks out the door. So, how'd you do with all that? Feel good. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. so, um, kind of moving myself around. No issue. I don't really feel it right now, but um, it's okay. pretty normal to feel great after treatment, but feel like kind of back to the old ways after a couple hours. So, um, We'll see with that, but ribs, like I was telling them earlier, they're they're pretty easy to fix as long as you get on top of it early. You know, yeah. in the first handful of visits, we'll we'll see it address. So, yeah, honestly, this is it's it's one of these things where you can feel an intense amount of pain when you walk in the door. Um, but I say, as far as things that we see, there's usually a correlation between how much time it takes to get rid of it if it's intense, mm -hmm. and and this is this is an exception to the rule. If you come in really hot twice a week for a couple weeks and you're you're probably going to be right as rain um but uh any questions dr nick before we wrap this up no no i think okay. it's pretty good beautiful guys thank you very much for watching